Thank you for joining us. My name is Frankie. And I'm Paul KSF. And this is our review of Everspace. Peggy 12. Cyberspace is an action-focused, single-player space shooter. Combining roguelike elements and top-notch visuals and a captivating story, it takes you on a challenging journey through an ever-changing, beautifully crafted game. Full of surprises, your skill, experience, and talent for improvisation will be tested continuously as you piece together the puzzle of your own existence through encounters with interesting characters, each having their own unique part of the story to tell. In each exciting run, you will face entirely new situations, ensuring countless hours of thrilling gameplay, and generating myriad opportunities for individuals, meaningful moments to experience. No matter how skilled you are, death is another, but it's also the beginning of a much larger. All right, Poultry, sell me this game. Tell me about the gameplay. In Everspace, your objective with the guidance of a very opinionated artificial intelligence is to cross a galaxy and reach a predetermined destination. This might sound familiar to fans of FTL. It is essentially the same goal. What differs is how you do so. Major upgrades to your ship, like perks, will be made pre-launch. So your goal is to earn as much credits as you can before you die, and you will die. Once you do, You'll be offered upgrades like increased damage, shielding, scanning, etc. In flight, you will encounter enemies, neutral NPC, and environmental conditions that will have an impact on you. Most fans of the space genre might notice at first glance that there are no Newtonian physics. That is, until your inertia dampeners are damaged and you end up crashing into an asteroid or some abandoned space station. In between collecting resources and defending yourself from enemies hellbent on killing you, you will jump from sector to sector via jump drives and jump gates. Be careful and note that there is a fuel system. In jumping without adequate fuel, can and will damage your engines. Along with engine damage, you could experience damage to other systems like life support, shields, and various other parts that make a spaceship whole. So tell me about the controls. Personally, keyboard and mouse is the only way to go. First person view is fun, but you are ultimately at a disadvantage since you are limiting your vision. There is controller support, but the aiming system cannot compare with the mouse. Stick with the keyboard and mouse and you'll see the difference. I don't know, man. I prefer using the controller. Maybe it's because I had my PS4 controller hooked up uh -huh. to my computer on Steam to play it when I first started the tutorial. But I do use my keyboard and a lot of other games for a flight simulation. Hey, man. How do you feel about the presentation of this game? This is a beautiful game. Considering I found this via Facebook ad, it's impressive. These visuals are on par with many popular games including Elite Dangerous. The breathtaking sight of a nebula storm might even make you forget it's causing damage to your ship. Explosions, while slightly incorrect on a physics level, are also quite awesome to experience. Try flying through one after destroying an enemy ship. Pretty great. The systems that you jump to are procedurally generated, and while there does tend to be an overall theme, you still experience a sense of wonder and enjoyment with each time. I couldn't imagine saying it any better. I enjoy every bit of this game down to the dust particles floating in space from the explosions that you've caused. And you could put a lot of hours into this game. 
Did you find any enjoyment outside of the art itself there? I've put quite a few hours into this game already. It's an arcade game, and the objective is to achieve a greater score than your last. The game by no means will hold your hand, some even refer to it as Dark Souls in Space, but it does offer a way to make your next run better than your last one, provided you use your head. I can see myself playing this game until I unlock everything, tips, weapons, upgrades, decals. So for the collectors out there, those of you that enjoy 100% completion, this game is well worth the purchase. Another thing to note is the codex. Everspace provides a fairly decent lore experience. Check out the codex for more information on the different races and systems you encounter. A lot of us, including myself, have a weak spot for lore, and Everspace will deliver a slight scratch for that itch. Heck yeah, man, I totally agree. So what do you say overall about the game? Overall, I believe this game is worth a shot. I might say try to grab it on sale because after all it is simply an arcade game, so its replay value is directly connected to how long it stays a challenge for you. I mean, the graphics are nice, the controls are fluid and easy to learn, and I actually really do enjoy the entire design of this game. Absolutely. Um, I would totally suggest buying this game. Definitely. I don't care if it's on sale or if you want to grab it at a nice price right now, it's $30. But the game is honestly one of the better sit back, relax, and don't die games that I've played. I haven't played Elite Dangerous, but I have played FTL. and. If you're looking for a game that you can sit down, put an hour into, and feel accomplished with what you've done and be able to get off and come back to it, this is the game. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us. This is our second episode. If you like what you heard or want to hear more, please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. 